people as followers of downtown. He's been very, very good to them in the past. Um, going out at those odds, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a little league play on him. He looks well enough. Never really shines from the yard. That's just him. He's one of those dull cover greys, but he walks out well, and he is fit. If you're following the stats, he did jump from barrier 13 last year and ran second. He's got barrier 13 today. Okay. Uh, he's uh, cheap up, cheap consistent, and his course of distance record uh, is outstanding. So a pick you to one, it's uh, a ridiculous price. But this is the favourite, number five, Sunny Power. I should get the, the run of the race in terrific form. And, uh, well, he's, he's measured up to this sort of class in the past, and he's going to be pretty hard to beat. Yep, he presents very well. He's eventually settled down and still got the tooth and handlers on him, which is probably a good idea just at this stage, but he's going in the right direction as far as behaving himself in the yard. He, he likes to get on with things. He walks out very fast. Um, I think he looks good. He looks great in his coat and his fit. So uh, nothing wrong with him at all. Yeah, he carried the weight two back in the over the 1400 his first real test with the uh, decent weight to carry him came through it with flying colours beat never looked back he's one today tough to beat from the good gate sunny power viva macau well he's, there are other races in line for him later on in the season Today will just be a top off for one of those. I would have thought so. I think the 1400 is way too short for this fellow. Uh, he looks really, really healthy in his coat. Very, very healthy. In fact, he looks quite fit as well because he's a horse that does tend to carry a touch of condition. Um, I can see a couple of ribs there. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. I just thought, I just thought the 1400 was a touch short for him. Yeah, it is a bit short, and uh, he wants a lot further than this. Should be outpaced, I think, uh, over the shorter distance. Hurton on board him. Looking at uh, Floral Pegasus uh, making his way now. And uh, well, he's, a, he's a classy galloper, there's no doubt about that. Uh, a good fourth behind, good barber in the Hong Kong Mile. His, his form this season has been very good indeed. He's well drawn, working well. A lot of positives for him, and uh, I'm sure he won't be far away. He could even run it. Yeah, well, I thought it was a terrific run in the uh, International Mile there. This fellow, he's got loads of ability. Uh, he does always carry a fair bit of weight, but that's just him. He's a very thick neck type of horse, uh, fairly strong individual in the chest and in the behind area. I think he looks particularly fit for him. He probably looks a little bit big on screen, but I can tell you he's not. He's very fit and he looks good. Barrier number three is going to be right there, and they're one of the hardest to beat. Ruba Jordan, first time he stepped into this class, group class. The way he's going at the moment, he's primed to uh, to give it a, a crack. Uh, $57 at the moment for him. Well, he's just going terrific, this horse, and uh, every time he comes into the yard, he really does take my eye. He's glowing in his coat. He's a very fit horse. He's a lovely individual. And once again, he gets a very, very good uh, smart from the yard from me. Darren Beeman uh, siding with him, and that says enough, really. I think uh, John Moore having a number of runners in the race, and few of them with decent chances as well, but uh, it would appear that Darren's picked this one, and uh, why wouldn't you, with the way he's won his last two. Moving on now to Royal Prince. It's not all straightforward with Royal Prince. He's got a few mental issues. Um, however, he's got ability as well, but if he, if he puts it right on the day, he's a chance. He likes to go forward. Gate two is a positive. Dropping back, uh, of course, uh, from running in the Hong Kong Cup. I like him better actually over the mile, but the 1400, well, he has one over it. Um, I don't know, what did you make of him, Jenny? Well, he, he is a lovely individual, there's no doubt. I mean, he's just a really big, strong, solid individual. Uh, he's pretty well behaved. Uh, he probably looks like he carries a bit of weight, but for him, I think he's pretty fit looking at him. Uh, he just is uh, rather round in the uh, midsection there. Has been, it looks like he's been shred just on that white set lock joint there. Um, see a little bit of yellow, so that might be a touch of him. He is a very heavy horse, but um, I think he's good enough. But as you said, issues and he is slow out here and there. He's starting to play up now. Well, here's Dharma Court, ran well first up after obviously a lot of problems, suffered second up syndrome. I thought his run behind River Jordan was good. He makes him eight pounds better at the weights. 
Douglas White getting on. This fellow's had three wins in his career and Douglas has been aboard every time. I think he's a chance today. Well, he's a little bit wintry in his coat and he's a horse that doesn't carry much condition. Um, so he's fairly fine, but he is fit. Um, yeah, just a little bit down his coat. Getting on his toe as well. Uh, I think he looks well and I do think he's there with a chance. But I'm not sure that he'll get into the top four. One that gets back and likes to run on is Flaming Lamborghini and he's his last run definitely hinted that, that he's not far away from a win when fourth to River Jordan. How did he look? Um, a touch better than his, in his coat than he did last time. I thought he was fairly average in his coat. He tends to want to get on with things. Another one that's a very, very solid individual. I think he looks all right. Yeah, nothing wrong with him. Best turned out horse, River Jordan. Mm -hmm. Number seven for the Chinese Club Challenge Cup. Well done to all concerned there with River Jordan. Number seven drawn, Barrier Seven. Well, you spoke about Flaming Lamborghini. Certainly uh, looking like he's coming to hand at his most recent outing. With a good closing fourth behind River Jordan. He, of course, is the uh, current equal track record holder with this horse on screen, Pocket Money, who has been off the scene for 92 days due to a blood abnormality trialled quite okay, it wasn't asked to do a lot, he's got a light weight and that's when we've seen him be at his explosive best. I'm oh, sorry, which one Bruce? Pocket money. Oh, pocket money, yeah. Um, well of course he's the fresh horse going into this race. Um, I thought he looked pretty well, I don't think there's too much wrong with him, but he, he normally does, he normally gets your eye when he does walk into the yard, this guy. Uh, he's just getting on his toes now, but he has been pretty well behaved, looks good in his coat and uh, I think he's ready to run a bit of a race for a sheep. Yep, one first up already this term and he's just thrived since going to John Tice. I would uh, expect him with a light weight on his back to show his explosive turn of foot and uh, he, I think he can measure up to this, uh, this grade. He's toughest test to date. Moving on now to the lightly raced ambitious general and uh, another nice source. I've liked the way he's worked since his first up run where he was He's beaten four lengths behind River Jordan. He needs to improve a bit on that, but uh, I think uh, once he gets over a bit more ground, he's, he's definitely going to, to be competitive. Well, that was uh, the thing with me too here, Clint. I thought 1,400 again might just be a little bit on the sharp side for him. However, he's a lovely, lovely individual. He looks particularly fit as well. And he's uh, bandaged in front, typical from the, the uh, hall yard. I wouldn't be surprised to see him run a bit of a race at odds. Very nice type and fit. My choice ran fifth in this race last year. He ran a great second to River Jordan last start at Big Odds. Going around again at Big Odds today. Yeah, um, hard to have him from the yard. He's really quite dull in his coat and he just looks fairly plain and average. I have seen him look better. Okay, that's uh, number 13, my choice. Good price, around uh, 50 to 1. Just Elaine Pillaging, who's the ranky in the race at 100 to 1 to uh, look at. Rising nine year old now, Elaine Pillaging, there he is coming into picture. Did you get a squeeze at him, Jenny? I certainly did. He actually looks really well. Um, he has been looking well, though, um, for his last three outings, and he's been very, very disappointing. Um, however, if you uh, are a fan and you do want to have something on him, there's nothing at all wrong with him looking at him. He looks good. He finished in 13th position in this race last year. Elaine Pillaging, any hope from you, Pete? None. Too much quality here and he's not in good enough form. He's the right price at 233 to 1. Yeah, I was with you there. Manuel Nunes getting aboard him for the first time. Favourite number 5 at 3.6, Sunny Power. It's a quality lineup here, as you would expect for a a group three race, 6.6 .6 for Floral Pegasus, 5.4 River Jordan.